This stretch of Route 4 is one of the busiest roads in Berwick. In the area in front of Little Red Schoolhouse, worker Jamie Lehu heard a sound Saturday that told her right away something was wrong. It was the loudest crash I've, like, bang I've ever heard in my life. I thought somebody hit the rocks out front or the building. Her neighbor, Teresa Toth, heard it too. The scene outside of her window was even worse than expected. I looked outside and I, I, saw, I saw the arm in the road. It was the worst accident I've seen in my 30 years. Captain Jerry Locke was one of the first officers with the Berwick Police Department to respond to the crash where four people died, including a seven-year-old boy. Robert Howard was driving the car that the boy was in and was also pronounced dead at the scene. Police say Howard was at fault. He was passing where he shouldn't have been passing, and um, he overcorrected and went into the other lane. Uh, the, S the red SUV had nowhere to go. Barbara Allen was a passenger in the Red Ford Explorer that was struck by Howard's car. She was later pronounced dead at the hospital. In the last five years, there have been three other deadly crashes on Route 4 in Berwick. A spokesperson for Maine DOT says that the stretch of road is well striped, well signed, and well paved with rumble strips along the center line. We'll do all we can, but drivers need to really share that safety, share that responsibility uh, when they're out on the roadway in the way of less aggressive driving and less distracted driving as well. According to Talbot, there will be repaving along this roadway later this summer. There's no plans to add a third lane on either side, but they will be keeping the rumble strips in the middle for safety purposes. In Berwick, I'm Rob Nesbitt, News Center, Maine.